that this thing sounds fantastic. Can you tell me what's wrong here? We've got my headphones on now. <laughs> and uh, apparently my audio yeah, is muted, but is um Well, yeah. You can tell it's not muted. <laughs> Uh, one of my, my computer's having one of its uh, moods, I think. I can get it to come off. It used to do this when it was running Windows 7 as well, so I know it's not. doesn't say it's muted up there, though, does it? Look. I'll just open the um, volume thing and it doesn't say it's muted. <clears throat> if I just click like that and it gets rid of it, I don't know. It's like... The mute symbol gets stuck on that when it boots up. Well, like I said, that used to do that when, um, when I had Windows 7 on this machine. Anyway, I have bought the race setting because uh, I need to get some work done on this. Um, <laughs> and uh, the first task. It's to get all the shit that I don't want stripped off, and actually some of the stuff that I do want taken off. Um, I'm just going to have to clean that stem up as best I can. Uh, it's not going to look too bad when I get the other handlebars on, but uh, there must be spiders hiding on this somewhere. I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but um, it's all full of cobwebs all in here. Yeah, there's probably a little one hiding on there somewhere. Um, the brakes work. WD-40 all up in here and they're working fine now, both of them. I um, do need new brake pads, but... I was actually going to... Oh, I'm going to have to disconnect the brake cables, aren't I? Because the screw that fits the levers to the handlebar is actually in there and that cable gets in the way so I am going to have to strip the brake cables off for that reason because uh, I've got to take the brake levers off to put them on the new handlebars. Uh, what I want to do is um, plonk the camera on something. I haven't got nothing. Um, got wind, there's no surprise there. Right, um, hmm. Yeah, the brake cables are all seized anyway, so I'm going to have to cut those off and replace the outers because they've seized inside the outer down there, so. The only way I've got to get them off is to cut the cables and uh, replace the outers and the cables, which isn't a problem. And I can reuse one of my spares I've got in my box. I don't have to change the um, brake cable outers. But I have got white. I'm only going to need um, a short bit of white, but I do have white outers, so... I can uh, replace these easy enough. Actually, I think it's just these two. I think I can get away with that one. I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, the plan is, is just to get the cables off, uh, get the get that bracket off, uh, I'll get the old brake pads off, because all the brake blocks, I should say, because uh, well, they're rotten and horrible, and I'll just put some better ones on. Give it a good clean up and uh, replace all the cables. And the last job will be to um, put some tubes in the wheels. Which, uh, oh yeah, they're hanging up there. So that's the task for today. Or at least for the rest of this afternoon. Get what I can. If I can actually get the handlebar on and everything and... I've got some white tape over there I can use as handlebar tape for now. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got that shift spray in the kitchen I can use to clean with. But 
an old cloth down there I can use. Where is it? There it is. It's such a good drop of stuff for this. So it looks like this has been near one of them um, trees that makes everything go green. You just uh, see. Yeah, it's all on the mud guard, so I'll clean all that off, but I've got to get some parts off of it first. Uh, so at least with the cables off, it's going to be easier to clean the frame as well, because I haven't got to try and get under this. And... Anyway, I'm going to get working, so uh, I'll see you all in a bit. <sighs> well, I haven't actually got far on that, because... I actually had to go downstairs and find a handlebar that would fit, because that one is a smaller diameter so the clamp on the stem wouldn't clamp it down so I had to go and get my set of alloy bars from down in the shed got those on and now I'm having difficulty with um, brake levers I wanted to reuse the ones off of these bars as they are in good nick but they've rusted on solid cannot get the screws undone and in fact, there is remnants of one round here somewhere um, that I had to beat off with a hammer. Because uh, I had to get the handlebar off, obviously, and the only way it was going to come off was um, brute force and ignorance. So, brute force and ignorance won. <laughs> so I can't use the brackets on the old levers because I can't get them off. Um... It's me looking for that bracket. I've put it on this one. Got to find a bracket. Um, I've got a couple of brackets, but I'm missing the piece that goes in there to, you know, sort of like a nut piece with a couple of lugs on it that hook into there. I can't find those. They're probably buried in one of these black cases, but... Uh, I also had some tubs of miscellaneous parts, so I, I've been sorting through the tubs of miscellaneous parts and actually managed to get rid of three. <laughs> Putting them back into these cases where the parts are meant to be. It's just where I've had a random clean up on this bench and I've just thrown them into the nearest tub. I really shouldn't do that. Because then when I go to the tub, or the main containers, I think I haven't got a part, when in actual fact I probably have, in a box of misc stuff, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take that black tape off of there, because I've got a matching lever right there. Um, yeah, that's the hold up. If you look at the bike, I don't know how well it's going to show up in this light, but... Uh, it's not green anymore, it's actually come up quite nicely. Still a bit of cleaning, I've already gone over it roughly just to see how well, you know, the green shit will come off and uh, we've even managed to clean some of the mud guards up. Um, I do have a seat that doesn't have rips in it. I'm not going to remember where it is. It's either in the shed downstairs or in the upstairs closet, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I will change the seat, change the brake blocks, I think that is about it. Uh, if I've got anything better to go in these brake calipers, you know, change these, then I'll change them, if not I'll have to leave them, although the pinch bolts themselves, which are these, your pinch bolts for your brake cable. Um, they look all right. It's just the cable adjusts worse on the front. I may actually see if I can replace that, or at the very least, this the actual adjuster itself, because I remind you, it still operates. But you know, the less rust on it, the better. I mean, most people, when they're buying a used bike, you know, little bits like that or like that won't bother them too much. But then again, whoever buys this one off me might just want it for parts anyway. But uh, who knows? Or as a project. It's another possibility. So, because I know people like these old bikes, one for the parts and one 
as a restoration project. So my goal is to get it as clean as possible and just in working order. I think that chain is going to have to be changed for me to uh, do that. And uh, yeah, then it can be sold. I don't know, I don't think I'll get a lot for it. When it's done, probably about 30 quid. Well, I certainly wouldn't let it go for any less than that, I don't think. Well, not much less. I've relisted my um, blue rally mountain bike in the vain hope someone will buy the bloody thing off me. I haven't actually checked my emails though. Not since I relisted it this afternoon. Whoa! Hang on. Brasilia women? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and uh, use the bathroom because I actually haven't been today. It's a miracle. I have not been for a dump today. Miracles do happen. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna try and uh, sort a of brake lever out for this and perhaps get the brake cables back on. And uh, I'll call it a night on this, I think. So uh, I'll be back in a little while. Success! Found a bracket. Well, I found a lever and a bracket that goes together. I had to find a slightly longer screw, but it's on there. It'll work. So, it's going to have to wait till tomorrow now to have all the cables and stuff refitted, but it's a, uh, I think, yes, because I don't actually want to do the brakes yet until I've got the inner tubes in, because uh, otherwise it's a pain to get the wheels in and out. So I'll do that first thing tomorrow, that means I'll have to fix some punctures. Oh well. Uh, but yeah. That bit is done. I've had put a new bolt in there as well because the other one was rusty. Um, so I just hacked the old one off with a hacksaw. Just while I've got my hacksaw out. The other thing I've been doing, well, as you know, I was sorting out those um, my trays of small parts earlier. I've done that. I've even uh, been through that box and done that, so I've just got that little pile of stuff there. and There's a few bits there to go in a box out in the outside cupboard. It's a bit too late to do that now. There's some derailleurs down there I've got to do the same with. But again, it's too late to go banging around out in that cupboard, so that wait till tomorrow. Uh, it's just... Um, I've got boxes and things for those light brackets down there, and the reflectors, and the lights. I've just got to put them back in their rightful place. And there's a few accessories. There's a couple of uh, cycle bells down there. Um, that lot has got to go down to the shed, because the containers for that lot are downstairs. And I should be able to... Uh, find everything again. Um, one thing I'm going to do, I've got a tub full of vintage parts there. I'm going to go through and anything decent I'm going to take out, put aside and uh, eBay it as a job lot. Um, it's just not worth me eBaying it as um, single items because, well, it just isn't worth the effort. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, as I said, just go through, pick all the bits out I'm not likely going to need. I might just keep one or two. Uh, just stick you up here for the movement. You know, a bit like this for ra racing bikes. As I do get the odd road bike in every now and again, I'm going to keep bits like this. This is a cable guide, by the way. This, um... 
made by Shimano and this would bolt at the bottom of the down tube like that you know your diagonal tube and then your gear cable would just run under this bit down to your rear derailleur yeah back in the day they didn't have the um, little um, oh, I've forgotten what they're called the little bits on the frame that your cables go into and have those years ago you had to have a bolt-on part which uh, not actually a bad idea I've got this, and to be honest, most of it is junk. Here's another one that's missing its nut and bolt, but you put your cable out uh, in that bit at the top there, so I'll keep hold of that. Uh, I need to keep hold of that and that. There's just a lot of stuff in here that is either no good or not needed. So, stuff I want to keep, I can put there. Uh, see, I've got an odd pump bracket. But it's in pretty good condition, so that could go in the for sale pile. So can that mudguard bracket. You see, that bracket is all... Uh, <laughs> basically just... Uh, uh, you see, there's another bracket here. That can go in um, see there's another one nice shiny chrome one these clips I'll keep uh, there's a bracket here for something I'm not sure what that's for Some little jubilee clips in here as well, like hose clips. Ah, there's another one for a racing bike. It's a bit rusty, but again, I'll. Uh, that's one bit I will keep hold of. Bunch more clips. It's just that I've got a couple of um, old three-speed bikes and should keep a few of those clips for. Well, I suppose I could put these in the job lot as well. The um, slightly rustier ones. There's one thing. Ooh. It's a weird looking one. Look at that. need better light. <laughs> I think I'll keep that one. I'm guessing that's for a racing bike and I'm guessing that goes on the rear fork. So that's another bit I'll keep. And then I've got these for three speeds. They're your cable stops that go um, down by the back wheel on the frame. And I have got several of those. I've even got a brand new one in a bag in the bedroom. Still sealed in the bag, I've got a brand spanking new one. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking through here to see what I've got. Got an actual Sturmy Archer toggle chain. Uh, can chuck that. There's someone out there that um, fixes vintage bikes like the L3 speeds may want these parts, you see. I'm not going to use them. Yeah. Although I am going to throw them around the room. There's another one that can go in the definitely sell, sell pile. Uh, so some of these as well. Um, wheel adjusters, but I don't know if I'm actually going to ever need them. That's a mudguard piece. What have we got? Another toggle chain. Then again, I've just thought, as I've got three speed bikes, I might, well, it would be a good idea to keep um, a few spare. Why have I got a modern dragger bracket in here? Or a securing screw, I should say. There's another one. 
Fuck me, there's even a bit of Lego in here, look. I get everywhere. <laughs> Bloody stuff. Right, oh, that's what I've got. Keep... Oh, that can go in that. There's a toggle chain, I'll keep, we'll keep at least one. Bit for a thingy break. What's this? Another one of those. Oh, there's two different sizes. Oh well, I'll keep one of each size then. <laughs> Solves that problem, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to put a pile of bits there. Just assorted pieces. Go over there as well. Go into that one. One. And a bolt that shouldn't be in here. Another little clamp of some sort. Oh, that's a rather large one. Jeez. I'm not actually sure what to do with that one. Fuck it. Head up. <laughs> That solves that problem. There's a few rusty ones, but someone might want to clean them up. Um, keep hold of one of those as well. I've got two toggle chains over there, so I'm going to keep a couple. Another clamp. That can go over there. I can't actually remember what these are for. I don't even think they're meant to be in here. I've got a couple of them. Rod brake parts. I'm not going to need anything for rod brakes. Hang on. Another bit that's not meant to be in here. Early moly moly moly. Right. Got a feeling that's a nut and bolt for some of them plants. Uh, da -da -da -da. Pinch bolt. Hmm. Nope. There's another one of them rod brake doodars in here. I'll show you if I can find it. What's that? There's another clip. I can go over there in the key pole. For the old rod brakes, I've got a couple of those. That can go in the uh, for sale pile. Sod it, soak in that. And that. Not that. And that. And that. Uh, that is a clamp for something, but I'm not sure what. Well, if I'm not sure what it is, that can go in the full sale pile. Well, I'll keep that, keep that, keep that. Basically keep everything that's left. And that's my... Uh, that's my box sword. <laughs> so, tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a photograph of that pile on the desk and... Uh, Sticking that up for sale on eBay. No. I do have a bicycle behind me that needs a replacement, one of these, so I've got a replacement. Uh, oh, before I forget, because I'm good at forgetting. I've got dirty hands, which is why I went like that to get it. I don't really want to put hands like this 
<laughs> on a pill. Thank you. <clears throat> right. I think that's it. The race will be uh, finished tomorrow, I hope. I should be seeing Mum tomorrow, I hope. Um, I'm so bold. At least I've managed to find a bunch of um, bolts and nuts and washers, so they can all go in the three designated tubs as well. Ooh. It's not worth keeping that really, is it? Look at it. Bin that one then. Got plenty more in one of my cases anyway. And yes, that did just miss the bin. Well, there's nothing going on on Facebook. Nothing to talk about, anyway. Um, someone has put an idea up how to deal with congestion, at least in the town centre, because um, a problem with little British towns like mine... That's better. They uh, weren't built for modern-day traffic, so... By the time we get buses at the bus stop, and the bus stops are only really big enough for the maximum of two. But um, you do get three there as well, which is, to me, far too many at a time. But someone did say, you know, they'll have the um, switchovers, you know, where you got to change for another bus, which is all fair and... You know, yeah, I can understand that, but surely they could adjust their timetables so the buses aren't exactly there at the same time. You know, like, I don't know, a five-minute gap between each one. I'm sure people wouldn't mind waiting an extra five minutes because they're never on time anyway. Because, <laughs> uh, well, it's not, not usually a bus's fault that they're late, you know, because they've... Unlike a train, which, um, when everything on the train line's working fine, they are on time, but with buses they've got to contend with other drivers, accidents, other hold-ups, you know. So, but someone suggested taking out a row of parking spaces in the town centre where you're allowed to park... 30 minutes for free and they said getting North Norfolk District Council ha 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 there's no way they'd agree to this there's no point in even asking them um, to add free, some more free spaces on their pay and display car parks you know to make up for the loss of the ones in the town centre they've already got four on one um in doing so, we'd lose four disabled spaces as well, which I don't think is a good idea, but uh, I, I like his idea, but um, I don't like having to move the parking spaces or, well, I see even if you could move them, because like I said, Knowing North Norfolk District Council, you got a hope and hell's chance of them agreeing to um, add a few more free, free thirty-minute parking spaces. <laughs> I think hell would freeze over first. Um, but they are absolutely right. You know, the reason NNDC made the only car park they own pay and display is because they can't favour one town over the others. And they're absolutely right, because uh, I do believe that every other town in North Norfolk all have pay and display car parks owned by North Norfolk District Council. Um, uh, the town council owns one car park in town, which is free. Uh, well, actually, it's just on the edge of the town centre, take you probably five, well, yeah, about five minutes to walk into town, if that, a bit less, depends how fast you can walk. 
Um, but that's mostly used by college students because it's not far from the college. Uh, I know the college has their own car park, but like all car parks, you can only get so many on there. Um, but the other problem with congestion we have is just across the way from mine over there by the post office, there's another bus stop and it can be awkward for cars to pass when there's one bus there but it's not too bad it's you know you can cope with it sort of thing two buses makes things a lot difficult and by the time you get three in there again then it's just an accident waiting to happen because it blocks pedestrian view of off I should say um, if they were coming towards my flat, across the zebra crossing, it would block a pedestrian's view of their left to see if there was any cars coming, as it would also stop cars that were approaching seeing if there was anyone waiting to cross. And all it's going to take is for a driver or a pedestrian to not think, be miles away, blah blah blah, and bang. It's just an accident waiting to happen. Um, but like I said, two buses at most in that spot. And as I said, if Sanders, the coach company, could wiggle their timetables a little bit so there isn't, a, well, so there isn't, a, 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 I'll try again, so that there isn't three buses there at a time, like I said, two is, to me, is should be the limit. Um, that'll reduce congestion, at least from both um, bus stops. Uh, then you've got the pedestrian crossing across the way there as well, the traffic light controlled one, not the zebra crossing. It used to be a zebra crossing, but when Lidl's rebuilt, they were forced to put in a traffic light controlled crossing, a pelican crossing, I think it's called. Um, but the only problem with that is it's holding traffic up because obviously the cars are going to sit there on a red light even if there's no one crossing because some people do that they'll press the button to you know make the lights change to, to that to allow them to cross except the road clears so they cross anyway then a car comes and it's turned red and there's no fucker there <laughs> crossing the road, so that holds up the traffic unnecessarily as well as um, the cars still sit there once people have crossed because the light is red. Um, I think they I think they could have just left the zebra crossing there. Um, because the traffic there was congestion but it wasn't as bad. This just seems to have uh, made it worse. <laughs> but, uh, I suppose the idea was that a traffic light controlled crossing would be safer for pedestrians. Um, but like I said, as far as I know, the zebra crossing before that worked perfectly fine. I don't recall any accidents ever happening on there. You know, the key is, and I have been glad that I do this on several occasions, every time I come to a zebra crossing, I don't just walk across it, I wait for cars to stop. Because, uh, you do get the odd numpty that chooses not to stop at a zebra crossing. And the last thing I want to do is step out when in front of someone that is choosing not to stop. Yes, it would be their fault, because by law they are meant to stop. But, uh, I'd rather not end up in hospital, thanks. <laughs> Even if I could sue them. I could sue them for damages, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to be doing much else tonight, so I'm going to turn the camera off. There's not a lot I can do on the race until tomorrow because I've got to do the inner tubes first and before I do that I've got to fix the punctures. Which means getting my cordless drill out. 
I mean, I know what you're thinking now. How the hell am I going to fix punctures with a cordless drill? I'm going to use it as a weight. Because um, I don't want to sit there holding the patch like that. So what I do, I get something heavy with a nice, flat, clean surface. Like my um, Clark cordless drill. Stick the patch on. And then sit the drill on top. Or something heavy on top. And just let it sit. Because I hate doing puncture repairs. I'm not looking forward to it. But I've got to do two. Because all of those on my lamp stand over there are punctured. Every last one of them. <laughs> so. Never mind. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like the video then. Feel free to hit the like button and feel free to hit the dislike button if you like. I've actually noticed one of my Lego videos on the Lego channel actually has a dislike. I think I've got problems with my... Um, electric air freshener thing in the bathroom. Because it's not just squirting once, it's squirting twice. And I'll change that to squirting three times, because I just did it again. <laughs> and it's not doing it every 36 minutes either like it's supposed to, so... Maybe the batteries are running low? No, I think it's just done it a fourth time. I'm going to try on some new batteries and see if that helps. Anyway, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye!